and may Jah bless us to go on in life and to have our happy memories, even if things not going the way we like to. At least we got memories. Don't leave us, people. Do as they say, you know. It always stays with you. So I'm gonna save those memories and look forward until I see you again.
Sunday morning Bells are ringing everywhere Florida, Carolina Won't be loving from the earth You're my blue sky You're my sunny day Lord, you know Like that. <laughs> I, I'll never forget the first time I, I actually was in here. Well, I wasn't playing. I was here to see. It must have been like the second year that the place was open. And it really was a house back then before they changed the stage and expanded. I got to see Doc Watson, the great guitar player. It just blew my mind because I didn't even know that Talk House existed out east and that was back when the Hamptons was like a two and a half month uh, experience so it was like this gem in the middle of a desert and uh, Doc Watson an incredible guitar player up there and I was about 10 feet away from him and I just I was like wow this place I can't believe I'm really here and this exists and I'm way out in Amagansett uh, so that remains probably my most fond memory Playing here, you know, it's work, and there's been a lot of great nights, but uh, I, I would be here as a fan as well, so. <laughs>
uh, we, we talked about the first time I was ever at the talk house. Well, Cliff Black, I think he was here when they, they broke the ground. Uh, he was the, pretty much the house band, Cliff Black and his band, at the talk house. And, uh, you know, I was a little nervous when I first met him. I thought, oh, he could be some kind of stuck-up rock star. But he's the nicest guy, down to earth, and a true musician. And I think he can play with just about anyone on the planet. And uh, yeah, he's he's a guy that if if I were if I didn't play guitar, I would definitely hire him to play guitar for me. So he's good. Yes, I was the first. Well, actually, actually, before this regime of the Talk House, Elliot Murphy played here, and Peter Allen played here, and another band called the Foreskins. <laughs> It is a good name that never really did it, yeah. And then what happened? And so, what was the there name was, of the... What was it the was the Stephen Talk House, okay. but it was owned by the, the previous owners. And then when Peter came in, you were the first band? I was the and first then, band. And um, not Toots, but um, Terrence Simeon, right? Right, Terrence Simeon became a fixture. I don't know if he was the second, but the second... Actually, the, the first national act to play here was John Hammond. Wow. He was the first national act that played here. So the thought of you and Peter as young bucks in that time must have been... You know. Oh, it was amazing. You know, and, and plus, you know, how when the place had the small stage and, you know, getting national acts to come in and see the stage, it was, it was so... It was, there were some funny times. I remember sweat dripping off the pipes. That's what I'm Oh, yeah. Of four in the morning, your band, rumor has it, sweat dripping off the pipes, people just going crazy. Yep. Well, when I play the talk house, I feel like I'm home. I feel like it's, this is not only a, a great venue and a great place, but it's also like I feel like it's my living room. And I feel like I grew up here. One, two, oh, one, two, three, And every time I turn around, it's gone, gone, gone. It's funny how time slips away. Tomorrow becomes yesterday. And the dreams we had today can fade away. Nothing is easy. Nothing is free. Only you can make your life what you want it to be. To be learned, no one said it'd be easy. All this talking about love is confusing enough. There's something that we'll never understand. It's under your skin, caught in its grip And addiction, even broken hearts can't care Nothing is easy, nothing is free Only you can make your life what you want it to be to be learned no one said it be
and hairpin turns Who said it'd be easy? It's a long, hard road A lesson to be learned No one said it'd be easy No one said it'd be I've known Arno for about 35 years, and I met him through John Sparrow, who w knew him from the neighborhood. And just to get to meet him was an honor when I met him, because he played with Jay Giles, The Stones. Um, he played on this Albert Collins record with the Uptown Horns. And when I got a chance to meet him, after knowing him and seeing him a bunch of times, I asked him to play in my band, Rumor Has It. And at, at that point in time when I was doing it, I ended up with a nine-piece band. And, uh, and just having him there to help me get the horn section together and stuff, he, he's great. And he played on the last record that I did with Ice Pack Jackson and basically just came in there by himself and put all the horns down himself. And it was, it was unbelievable. Arno Heck, I'm jealous. You didn't play on one of my tracks, and you were here, and we walked by each other in the hallway. I did hear you tune up in the background, going through all your reeds and shredding this piece of brass. Did you hear him in the back? It was unreal. The birds were flying overhead, Billy and I, Billy and I were like, Billy had his video out. Yeah, we heard him go through about a half a dozen reeds. Arno Hecht. Legend. Hang in there. No one said it would be easy. Let's do it.
That's how you do it, kids. As a songwriter, your craft is to be completely open and naked. The best songs are written from a universality of the soul. So if I'm in despair and if I'm thinking things that I don't want to share, I often know that that's going to be a great song because in my vulnerable state, there is a universal feeling. It's very hard to be a true songwriter because you're really laying your soul to bear for everyone to see. Tender is the moment, tender is the touch when I put my arms around you, I can never get enough Will there ever be enough? Will we ever find enough? I could have loved you for a lifetime But the lifeline, it wasn't mine Could there be a better burden to keep? I know inside this moment there is comfort and there is ease I'm drawn to find you in that bit of sweet embrace Hey, 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 the riddle unwinds No, there is no control in this moment in time Ever breathless the riddle unwinds That was beautiful. Thank you, my sister. Thank you. Yeah, the talk house is a venue, and the talk house is a community center. I get it. And that is true. I don't think people see that enough. I mean, there's music. We're here. We have fellowship. It's a bar. But truly, I think the talk house is like the American Legion. It reminds me of going to a small town. They got, well, it's, doesn't, it's not like. We do. We have benefits. I've literally been on the stage on a Sunday afternoon where we had kids with varying disabilities doing a drum circle on a Sunday afternoon. And that's how Peter is. If you want to come be part of the community, he wants to help that. So it's a community house. It's a venue. And truly, today pretty much puts it together. It is the hub of the East End music scene. I think I saw some TED Talk somewhere about we play music to the venues. We, we play music to the earphones. We play music to the space, just like the canvas. And I do believe we would not have such a strong music community if we didn't have the talk house. 
And I get that national acts come through here, and I know that's the bread and butter, but if we did not have the talk house, we would not have this community. I have the best job in the world um, because I get to make people happy for a living. I mean, who gets to go to work and throw a party uh, with their friends, with great artists, uh, be able to do things that help the community out, and be able to put on the kind of music that we put on here and work with people who are literally like your brothers and sisters. Um, so I have, I have the best job I could ever have uh, dreamt of. And I, I'm very grateful for the platform this place has afforded me and all of us to do what we've done, not only for the customers and the artists, but for the community at large. Um, Chris Carney, who worked here at the time as a bouncer and bar uh, bartender, biked across America back and forth in order to raise money for the traumatically injured. Um, he started with us, uh, with Nick Kraus and myself and others, the Wounded Warrior Project, which has impacted the lives of over 100,000 wounded soldiers and their families. And that's all because of an idea that came right here at this bar. That's kind of your spot, too, where we're interviewing you right now. You I like the corner because you can always see people coming at you, and they can only get at you one at a time. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to introduce my good friend and a friend of the East End, Joe Delia.
that should be the theme song for the hustle. We still got the fire in the That's belly. That's the idea, baby. Ha! Thank you so, so much, Thank Joe. you, Nancy. Thank you for so having... much for coming down, and you're such a monster. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Rock and Rollers to another week of Friday Night Hustle, and it's your bartender Larry with your daily trivia question. All right, the question is: Can you name five animals in Beatles songs? We'll be back with the answer. Hi folks, I'm Nick Krause and I'm here today with Peter Hunter Camp to talk about America's great taverns. Today we're at our own bar, the Stephen Talkhouse in Amagansett, New York. Well, the first show I saw here uh, with my parents actually was uh, John Mayle and the Blues Breakers. And I fell in love with the place that first time I came for that show. And I was here a night when uh, Mick Jagger, who didn't perform, was in the audience. I can't remember what show that was. But well, he, he was here in uh, 88. He came to see Buddy Guy and he was here in 94 to see Peter Wolf. Okay. Um, but a number of members of the Rolling Stones, Bobby Keys played in the club out here, and Mick Taylor uh, played Tumbling in the club dice. out here. Uh, Tumbling Dice, Mick Taylor played on his own, and Marianne Faithful, who was affiliated with the Stones and dated Mick Jagger, has played here in her own right as well. Some of my favorite nights, either being here or working here, were times where things didn't go as planned. So the power went out, either a nor'easter or somebody hit a telephone pole or whatever it might be. So we had Glenn Tilbrook, Rick Danko, Martin Sexton, and literally a type of situation where you want to talk about unplugged, there was nothing to plug into because there was no power. It's, it's very hard to come up with your favorite memories here. It's kind of like comparing uh, your favorite moments with a woman or your favorite day with a friend. Um, I don't know why I'll tell you this one in particular. Chris Christofferson was playing with the Highwaymen, which was playing out in Montauk, and Christofferson was scheduled to play here. This is around 1991, and it was right after the first Iraq War. Um, Christofferson, who's known for his very left-wing political views, and Waylon Jennings, who's known for, was known for his very right-wing political views. Christofferson sang a song at the ranch, slouching toward the millennium, Colin Powell was in the audience, and Waylon Jennings got really mad and said he was quitting the hireman. Chris, who doesn't drink, uh, went on a bender, um, was afraid he couldn't perform here, and Paul Simon came down and played with uh, Chris Christopherson and, and helped him get through that night and you know what could be better than that than having Paul Simon sing America on stage with Chris Christopherson and to know that the gesture behind it was one musician one human being helping another human being out uh, we want to thank uh, Nancy and Peter and everybody who put the Friday Night Hustle together and we're just delighted to be here and to be part of the wonderful Long Island East End music scene. As you see, we couldn't be on the stage at the Talk House. Band's a little bit too big for that. So uh, here we are, right up the road at LTV Studios. And uh, we're going to play a new tune, a tune that we haven't recorded yet. It's called So Beautiful. Bang the drums, bang it loud, sing your song, sing it.
Welcome back to the Friday Night Hustle. This is Larry with your trivia question of name five uh, animals in Beatles songs. And just a few of the answers are raccoon, walrus, all right, blackbird, and I bet you go down to, in the aisle of a supermarket, you'll come up with quite a few more, all right? Dog, all right? At the moment, I can't think of any more, but you, I know you will, all right? <laughs> <laughs> this is Inda, and I think my favorite side dish this Thanksgiving season is the stuffing. I'm all about the cornbread stuffing, and I'm not a vegan, and so I put sausage in the cornbread stuffing, and I want us to all get together, but I do love that stuffing. My favorite side dish on Thanksgiving is vegan stuffing. That's really boring, but I need to do it. I'm so disappointed in that answer. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, what, what should I say? <laughs> Candy yams. <laughs> My favorite Thanksgiving side is green bean casserole. My favorite side for Thanksgiving might be... My mother's stuffing. But she's not here. <laughs> favorite side dish of Thanksgiving? That is hard. What is my favorite side dish of Thanksgiving? Well, let's just say not a side dish, but gravy. Because it kind of goes over all of it, doesn't it? I'm going to say, you better have a good gravy at my Thanksgiving. Or, or any Thanksgiving that I go to. And I'm going to go rogue here. Everyone's going stuffing, stuffing, stuffing. And I know because I've given the interviews. I'm saying mashed potatoes. Good mashed potatoes. I don't want garlic in my mashed potatoes. I don't want, like, don't be putting cilantro or don't be zhuzhing it up with rosemary. No. I want butter. I want full fat, salted butter, and a little bit of cream. Don't be putting cream cheese. No, no, no. I want good old-fashioned mashed potatoes with a little dose of kick-ass agarabi. That's what I want on the side of my plate. Hi, right, folks. Wishing you all a happy Thanksgiving, happy holidays all around. Uh, we hope that uh, things get safer, sounder, and uh, calmer as we go forward. But we appreciate the support of the Stephen Talk House, and we hope uh, this community keeps rallying behind us. Uh, we need all the help we can get right now. Appreciate it. Thanks. You've seen him on TV. You've heard him on records. And now we're lucky enough to have him right here with us, Mr. G.E. Smith. Here we go, then. my eyes in a blacksmith shop in the year of 76 working on a tea flange that was out of fix it bounded out from under my tongs and there I conceived my doom I'm a blind fiddler so far from my own I've been to San Francisco I've been to Dr. Lane He operated on one of my eyes But nothing could be changed He said I will be blind for life There's no use to mourn I'm a blind fiddler So far from my Three little babies depending now on me They go through all my trials Wherever they may be I hope they can be happy 
Now that I'm forced to roam I'm a blind fiddler So far from my Blind Fiddler. I learned that from uh, Eliza Carthy, British violin player singer. Hey there, it's Kate Muth from the Neo Political Cowgirls Dance Theater, here to say thank you. Thank you for joining us in support of Nancy Atlas and the stunning, generous musicians that she has so beautifully gathered together here for us. When you buy a ticket, when you show up, when you help spread the word about a show or a performance, you are doing something fantastic to support the arts. It can be pretty lonely. It can be a hard struggle to be an artist anywhere. So when you take a moment to just stop and turn and see us and acknowledge our work, take part in our work, you become an active engine in keeping the arts alive here in our community on the East End. So this Thanksgiving, I'm here to say thank you. Thank you to you, our audience, for supporting the work we are so passionate about. Thank you, Nancy Atlas. Thank you to all of the artists on the East End for doing your tireless work to keep the arts alive. Thomas Views and Jetty Kuhn. Um, I have the benefit of, of hearing Thomas when his songs first come out. And I'm a stickler. I'm probably a hard judge. And uh, I'm so incredibly proud of him as a songwriter because he's really, I've, got, I've, I've gotten to see him grow. And he's really become quite uh, a songwriter. But I would be, I would be remiss. <clears throat> not to thank Thomas for uh, the past year. He's uh, very passionate about music, but we have three children together, and he has worked so hard to keep us afloat. <laughs> Sorry. So I want to say thank you, Thomas. Thank you for um, being so supportive of an understanding of how hard this year has been for me musically and also working so hard to make sure that the, um, the bills get paid. Appreciate it. Happy Thanksgiving. Sorry, guys. He has worked so hard. He really has. I, I've never seen him work harder. Hey, this is Jetty Coon at the Talk House. Please, my lady, share more original music from the East End of Long Island. It's not hard to see her First impression is that life's been good so far On a magic carpet ride Any number of stars reflecting any number of eyes Over the 
city Maryland, this is the crime and the pretty Well, please, my lady Mary Won't you share some of your sound with me Lady Mary, Lady Mary To shame, there's only so many slices in the pie. It's easy to walk away when you got your, I got mine. But Lady Mary, she ain't satisfied. She's shooting holes in your theory about just getting by. City. Lady Mary in the ground and the grid. Her cup is overflowing. Her cup is overflowing. Well, please, Lady Mary, won't you share what you got?
for your support, supporting the heart, supporting our movement as musicians trying to survive. We appreciate you very much. We appreciate your thoughts and your deed. Major bless. Peace. One love to you and your organization. Let me tell you a story. Let me tell you a story about coming up with the idea for the Friday Night Hustle, understanding that it had to be captured in a very short amount of time, and also realizing that we were gonna need sponsorship to pull it off. One of the first phone calls that I made was to Gavin and Catherine Manu. And do you know that they committed on that first phone call without even knowing how we were gonna do it, full sponsorship to all of their newspapers under the Express News Group? That's the East Hampton Press, the Southampton Press, and the SAG Harbor Express. Now, I don't know a lot right now. It's a hard time, but I do know this. Community is going to be what gets us through to the other side. I'm asking you, please consider subscribing digitally, or maybe you want the real thing, just like we used to. I can't get you the milk, but I can get you the newspaper. By going on to the newspaper that's for your town and subscribing to it, because behind that newspaper is not only the writers, and the photographers, but it's also people like me who Gavin and Catherine, without a thought, stand behind. Please consider subscribing to any of those newspapers and you're gonna be getting a dose of your community. I think it's gonna be more than you realize because when you're not feeling so good, you know what? You don't have, you don't have to go to the crazy, crazy news stuff. Pick up a little communal news. 
and find out what's going on in your town. So thank you, Gavin. Thank you, Catherine. And uh, I personally look forward to reading your newspapers all winter long. Love you too. Of everyone, thanks for all of the energy and the great times that you've given us. I mean, more to come. Yep. That's you know, I think there's something to be said for taking in what 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 we've done and what all and specifically you and your band. You gave yep. us an incredible amount of joy and love. Thank you, and I can't wait to get back on the stage with you. I know. We have a, a few more songs. Let's go make yep. some music. Let's do it. All right, good one. We look at the news. We look at all the crazy things going down. If this is the last thing they see, Nancy, this is thankful. I say thank you for doing this. I'm certainly hoping it does. I'm certainly hoping we get to play for other people another time. But if we don't, this is special. Today, beginning of fall in Amagansett, New York is special. <laughs> we love you, Mama Lee. We really do. And we thank you so much for all of the positive energy and love Good. that you have given out. You'll never know, as a musician, what it's done for other people. And I just wanted to say thank you. Mm. From me personally, as one person, um, you've been so much a part of my own story watching you. Thank and, you. And I think that in this time, come across a person who is constantly full of joy and positivity. And I've seen you, you know, I've seen you when you get get it, get it on. <laughs> I would have crossed your track. But uh, I think from, from, from so many people, I just want to say thank you. Oh. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank Let's you. Let's go make some music with Indo, all right? Oh, yeah. Let's go do it. Yeah, baby. yeah. All right. Everybody, we wanted you to know that we just want to take a chance while we're filming this to tell you um, to thank you for all of your incredible energy that you've given to this community 
and for all of the joy and love that you've brought us through. I believe that it will be energy like this that will get us to the other side of the spring. Um, and so just wanted to say on behalf of all your fans, and I'm one of those people, thank you so much for all of the love and, and positive energy you've graced us with on the East End. Hey, thank you. Can I have one more word there? Thank you. Can I have one more word? And Nancy Atlas, I don't think you guys know out there what happened to put this series together. So I want to thank you, Nancy Atlas. Thank you for putting this series together. I don't understand how you did it, and I don't think the people watching at home can understand how you did it. So people, put your hand on the TV, put your hand on the computer, and I want you to think good thoughts about Nancy Atlas. You are the ritual inspire of madness. You keep us going. And how you pulled this off, only you could do it. And Nancy, you're one of my favorite influences of people who just say, just do it, and how bad could it be? Just do it. Don't overthink it. Thank you, Nancy. Love you too, my sister. Love you. All right, let's go make some music. Okay. Music has allowed me to do a lot of good things for people around me and for people I'll never meet. And I'm thankful for that. And I hope I get to keep doing it after this is all over and done with. Computer behind every person playing are the people that actually make it happen, and the two are connected. You can, you can be the best musician in the world, but if you don't have that person supporting you and 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 pushing you, whether it's your manager or whether, and so I just want to take a moment to say thank you on before behalf of just not just me but my entire band and so many of the musicians out here. You have changed our lives and you've made such a massive difference uh, and to everybody that's ever come here I mean you've you know we were kidding around we were gonna have a show that was like people when did you met at the talk house and yeah know, like you have truly truly not only changed the community but like the culture of the East End can you breathe that in can you take that yeah, and, and again, doing that, and this is not false modesty, it was very much a team effort. What I was able to uh, accomplish here is very much belongs as a we. People like Cliff Black, who were here from the beginning, um, who don't necessarily, uh, aren't necessarily the front man, he is on that stage, um, uh, helped out, so did, so did so many different people. Of course, but it's saying, Look, I'm a yeah, it feels great. Years. What the fuck is it going to take to make you cry, man? <laughs> <laughs> How does Barbara Walters do it? You've already turned me down 15 <laughs> times. <laughs> I've cried a lot. I just think this is fantastic, and we needed this. We did, and I love you for that. I do. I, I have to say that. So, whatever happens, I'm um, just call me. I'll show up with a beer and a, and a, and a mandolin. So. Keep it going, please. Thank you. I thank you. I'm mean, from the bottom of my heart. I've got nothing, babe. We're outside a truck stop, near to the love.